All right, so I got a lot of stuff already pulled off. As you can see, I done pulled off this, you know. Like I said, that was a long screw from earlier. Um, you know, you definitely got to pull quite a bit of stuff off in order to get to it. But we're getting somewhere. Because as you can see, I got a little bit more wiggle room to work with here. I might still have to pull my wheel off just to get go up under. I'm putting my wheel well on this side, which is the passenger side. I don't want to, but hey, you know, that's what happens when you deal with stuff like this. And you're trying to save yourself a couple hundred. Now, if you got that guac, I mean, do you. Do your thing. Shoot, cut the video off and keep it moving. But, you know, for those who, you know, definitely need to have their money, I mean, definitely need their money in their pocket and have the time and the energy, because I drank coffee before I did this, um, this is what I recommend. Okay, so. All right, so we got most of this stuff off of here. I didn't have to mess with the throttle body at all so far. And my railing's still sitting here. Um, I'm definitely about to start pulling off this uh, this wiring. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm pulling that tubing off. But I'm probably going to be moving some more stuff out of the way. Like this. Because this is... Don't worry about it, what you heard. Trust me, ass. Anyway, um... In order to get to these, because there's one more in the back, further back there. In order to get to that one back there, I'm definitely going to have to start pulling all this stuff off. Which is nothing but the wiring harness. But still yet, it's a complication because once you start pulling this stuff off, you got to know where it goes and putting it back on and all kind of mess. Especially if you want to get stuff together. Some of it has to do with your air conditioning lines and all sorts of stuff. Um, other parts of it just has more so to do with, you know, electric, electrical parts and all kind of mess. So I'm steady trying to pull this stuff off, <clears throat> which I don't want to, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm yanking all this crap. Um, I'm going to move this first. Just add these two little things that you pull off of the, uh, injectors. But you know what they say, you want to do big boy grown man stuff? You got to be able to oper operate with these types of things. You got to deal with the complications of it. The other sides to it, you know. There ain't nothing wrong with it. I mean, should grown men do grown men things. Anyway, enough of that analogy no, stuff. So this pretty much goes all the way in the back. It looks like a messy job. You're absolutely right. That's exactly what it is. Um, I was, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these are heater and cooling hoses. Uh... I don't want to pull them out just yet, but then they, these have little clamps in the back. This one has a clamp in the back. I'm not even sure what this one has, but I'm definitely about to yank these out and see what I'm de really dealing with. It is not easy, folks. But who said anything would be? It's not easy to make money either, but it happens. I mean, maybe for some people it is, but for me it's not. Um, I guess you could say I got that kind of, that kind of stuff going on. Anyway, there we go. That's parts of it. That's part of the uh, thingy, which I'm about ready to pull all this um, other stuff off just to get to my plugs. You know, because once you get this piece pulled, which you can pull, pretty much pull the whole thing off, get ready for some saturation from the gas line. This is definitely going to be be a little mess, get a little messy once you do that. Um, I don't want to shortcut anything. So, yeah, I'm kind of just working with these hoses to pull them, get them all together.